The Mojito House Online Bar was an idea born out of desperation and the COVID-19 pandemic. It was August 2020 when its founder, Fermin Chok, was unemployed and sought an alternative source of income amid one of the worst economic crises Belize have ever seen. 34-year-old Chok, who is a certified bartender, had always wanted his own bar and the struggles over the last year made him finally make the move and jumpstart his dream. He teamed up with his girlfriend, Amy Coppa, and they developed the idea to sell all natural cocktails with a Belizean twist from the comfort of their home. That was a dream for me to start a company um, to, to make cocktails. But um, I didn't have really had the opportunity is because I was working um, during the last nine years. So I didn't have an opportunity to start anything. Now when um, COVID hit Belize in March, um, I was uh, laid off from my duties. Then that's what had inspired me more to start and do something uh, in making cocktails at home. What inspired me to create the Mojito House is that a lot of people that I know, they always enjoy different type of beverages. I just decided to say, and I, I want to start something different. Um, the mojito is a very classic cocktail. It, it has a, a history behind it. So bringing mojito into the country and starting mojito here in Orange Walton, I, I think it's something very unique. It's like a, it's like a music, so we, we want to rebrand it over. Since its launch, the online bar has been met with overwhelming support from the Orange Rock community and has seen a rapid expansion on the drinks they offer. According to Chuck and Coppa, they started off selling in plastic cups. Now they have 18 flavors of mojitos and they are now available in pouches. They recently began bottling their drinks with distribution just outside of Orange Rock. We actually have the 14 ounce cups that we use. Uh, that's where we started off. Then we went off into pouches since we realized that these are um, these are in style in other countries. And then we ventured off into bigger bottles because one pouch or one cup wasn't enough for our clients. So they began requesting and demanding to have bigger sizes. It has been going well. We have so many different customers and uh, that keep on coming back and they just love our product because we're very consistent when it comes to the taste and uh, all the foods that we use are natural. We don't add any preservatives or flavorings. Everything that we use is natural. One of the big um, aim that we're targeting right now is to bottle. As you can see, the tenants bottle here. So we want to, we have about six flavors that we want to start bottling 10, 10 ounce. And then of course we have the 750 ml, which is this bottle. This one here is a strawberry flavor. So we want to do six as well. The couple told Love News that their inspiration was actually drawn from the well-known global franchise Margaritaville. It is their hope that one day the Mojito House would blossom into a household name. One of our dream is to have uh, the Mojito House um around the around the country that is one of our next uh, dream that we want to accomplish so that we can have maybe kikaka or san pedro the mojito house so we're strictly mojito we, we want to be different from other restaurants that sell maybe margarita rum and coke or pina coladas we want to be strictly mojitos so again i always love the the, the, the brand Margarita Bill, and that has inspired me to start the the House. The next time we go to the store, instead of grabbing a beer or a Smirnoff or a Rude Boy, grab yourself a mojito. It's very refreshing, 100% Belizean. All the dollars there is at home. The prices of the products range from $8 to $25 and are available for purchase on the company's Facebook page. Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.